Hey guys, it's Elio, how's it going? We are gonna learn how to be more aggressive off the first ball we play in the point today, okay? So what we gotta think of is after we're serving, say even if we're returning, but let's focus on the serve right now. After we're serving, what are we doing? Are they returning amazing returns and they're getting me on the back foot? Am I going backwards and just preparing to run? Am I coming forwards? Maybe getting caught at my toes, okay? You gotta think about your body position and what's happening when they return the ball to you. So as you're serving, you can serve in certain points on the court to expect a certain ball back or maybe neutralize the play, taking away their angles, maybe trying to find your forehand, whatever works. Those strategies we can get to in another video. But what I want you to think about now is as you serve, well, no matter what ball comes back, unless, unless it's a really great shot where I've, I can't get there, how do I take advantage of it? Okay, tennis is a time destruction game. You're trying to take time away from your opponent. You're trying to give yourself time. Okay, so the first thing to be more aggressive is simply preparing yourself more with the feet. As you serve, no matter where the ball goes, you're gonna land and as you push back, what I want you to be doing is you're pushing back. If you're a baseliner, just, in front, just behind the baseline, so now as soon as the ball is hit, right, it looks like this. I land, I push back, boom, I'm ready to move straight away. So once I've pushed back, I've got myself in a, into a ready position. Okay, I'm ready to go either way. Let's say I hit a backhand. So all of a sudden it comes here. I've got time, I've turned straight away into my position and then I can cruise through my shot because I've prepared myself with my feet. But yeah, Elio, I could do that anyway. Okay, I already feel comfortable with the first ball. How do you get more aggressive? Well, this is all about taking the ball earlier, okay? So if you're ready here and you see that ball's bouncing at the service line, well, instantly what you wanna do is try and come forwards and take the ball sooner. So now all of a sudden you're not hitting any different kind of a shot, you're just taking it a little sooner, taking away time from your opponent. Now, this is a pretty tough thing to do because it requires good timing. You're often taking the ball as it's coming up on the rise. So the main thing to think about here with this strategy is as you see that ball coming to you, you're preparing, all right? But that key word is preparing, okay? As soon as I've read which side the ball's going to, I'm, I'm here, okay? My racket's back, I'm ready. So as you hit that serve, you're reacting straight away. Even if the ball was deep, you're still preparing that in that same manner. If the ball bounced deep to me and I was on my back foot, say, I've still gotta be prepared early so I can contact the ball early, okay? That's really the foundation for consistency in any shot. But for right now, look for that short ball, look to move forwards, and you can capitalize on that first ball. Uh, maybe if you choose to go forward, maybe you can stay back and keep pounding them from the baseline or that kind of mid-court zone. A lot of ladies, when they play that way, they really take advantage of their opponents because they've got such good ground strokes at the, pro, at the pro level, and not so many of them are that comfortable uh, coming forwards. So if you're able to hit those shots and control from that early on the rise play, all right, you control your opponent, they're struggling, and you're able to take advantage. Good luck with that. One more thing, if the ball does go deep, the same concept applies as pushing back, but now you've got to react to a deep ball coming, okay? So as soon as the ball's deep, I'm preparing, maybe I can get back soon enough where, hey, now I'm still pushing forwards through the ball as I make contact. All of a sudden, it's gone from a more defensive style ball, right, where I'm falling back as I hit, not ideal, sometimes you can't avoid it, but it's not ideal. What would I rather be doing? I'd rather be back early, stay low, and then I can move forwards through my shot where my string's going more towards my target. My body weight, everything's going towards my target. So I'm more ready, I'm more in control, and I can stay aggressive. Good luck.